And for hundreds of millions of years, the only competition they had was giant sharks, the original inhabitants of the seas and oceans. But in the course of their development, Mosasaurs acquired many features and adaptations in order not to fear anyone except their larger brothers. Scientists find evidence that Mosasaurs could hunt each other quite regularly. Apparently, this was especially characteristic of Hoffman's Mosasaurus. Among the fossils found is the skull of a Hoffman Mosasaurus with its jaw healed after a fracture. It is believed that the predator received this injury in a fight with an even larger creature, possibly another Mosasaurus. This also speaks of the excellent metabolism and good regeneration of these animals. But the main sources of food for different types of Mosasaurs were giant turtles, mollusks, and fish. It is believed that they could dive to quite great depths and survive for a long time without air, like modern whales. But most often they hunted in coastal waters or at shallow depths. Here they could wait for sea creatures rising from the depths. At the end of the age of dinosaurs, mosasaurs spread throughout the planet. Their remains are found on all continents. Moreover, new species of these sea lizards constantly appeared. It is almost impossible to talk about everyone in one issue. Therefore, as an example of the development of these unique animals, we will briefly describe several species of mosasaurs in the order of their appearance in the world's oceans. Clyde asked, The remains of mosasaurs from this genus have been found in the United States, as well as in Northern and Central Europe. Its average length was about 4 to 4.5 meters. But individual specimens could grow more than 6 meters. He lived in these places from 88 to 70 million years ago. Scientists have at their disposal two almost complete skeletons in good condition, found in 1891 in Kansas and in 2001 in Nebraska, USA. By 1905, 15 species of this Mosasaurus had been described. But later research showed that 11 of them were different instars of the same species. The main diet of this Mosasaurus was fish, as well as squid and seabirds. This is evidenced by the shape of his teeth. They were sharp and curved back. There were 17 to 18 teeth on the lower jaw of its narrow and long jaws, and 16 to 18 on the upper jaw. In addition, like all other mosasaurs, the Clydastus had an additional row of teeth on the upper jaw. The head was shaped like an inverted triangle. This allowed for better focusing of vision during an attack. The body had a greater length relative to the tail compared to other species of mosasaurs. Tylosaurus. At the end of the Cretaceous period, North America was divided by a shallow inland sea. Among other species of mosasaurs, it was home to one of the largest members of the family approximately 86 to 75 million years ago. The first finds of Tylosaurus were made in these places in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Later, his remains were found in Antarctica, South Africa, Russia, Japan, and Western Europe. The length of this giant could be up to 12 to 14 meters, and its body weight could be from 3 to 8.5 tons. The feeding feature of all mosasaurs was that they swallowed their prey whole or in very large pieces. The remains of large fish, including sharks, flightless birds Hesperornis, and even almost complete skeletons of small plesiosaurs, have been found in the stomachs of tylosaurs. An important discovery related to the appearance of all mosasaurs is the discovery in 1878 of fossilized skin impressions of a Tylosaurus. It was previously believed that mosasaurs had large scales, like those of crocodiles. But this find showed that their body was covered with small scales. Such scales are characteristic of modern rattlesnakes. But among mosasaurs, the plates on different parts of the body differed in size. Globidans. About 85 million years ago, a rather unusual mosasaurus appeared in the waters near the modern United States, North Africa, and Indonesia. A distinctive feature of this 6-meter predator was its narrow specialization it fed on mollusks and ammonites that had a hard chitinous shell. To grind this armor, Globidans acquired rounded teeth. Thanks to them, he got his name, which just means rounded tooth. 
plate carp. Another inhabitant of the American inland sea between 84 and 81 million years ago was a small mosasaurus called Platycarpus. What does flat wrist mean? It was about 6 meters long. Like all other mosasaurs, it swam with the help of four steering flippers and a large caudal fin. It was previously believed that the tail of mosasaurs was elongated with a flat end, like that of sea snakes. Modern reconstructions depict their tails as similar in shape to fish. In many ways, their method of movement is similar to that of sharks. Scientists suggest that plate carp hunted in shallow water. He drove the fish to the shore, as modern seals do. Prognathodon It was one of the latest mosasaurs. Appearing approximately 83.5 million years ago, it lived until the end of the age of dinosaurs. His remains are found throughout the world, including New Zealand and Africa. The length of his body could be 14 meters. Of these, 140 centimeters were on the skull. Species of prognathodons were discovered that did not exceed 5 meters in length. Possessing enormous size, great speed, excellent vision and sense of smell, mosasaurs were perfect hunters. No modern animal can compare with them in terms of adaptability to the aquatic lifestyle and become the main marine predator. The creators of the channel thank the viewers who watched this episode to the end. You can learn more about the origin of other animals from different eras from other videos posted on our channel. Also in our videos we talk about the development of relationships between people and wildlife in the past, present and future,